All right, what's up guys, Rose at Production here and today we're gonna be going through how to shoot performance scenes using a gimbal on a music video set. Can you cut the uh, filter? I was thinking the same thing. So yeah, somebody sorry. commented, they're like, bro, he's sizzling bacon in the back <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. So when I shoot my performance scenes, I like to shoot the performance scene from the very beginning of the song to the very end of the song. Now the reason for doing this is just so we have more footage to play around with. I see a lot of people who run their performance scenes in like 30 second increments throughout the song and I feel like this just makes your editing a lot more difficult and takes a little more time and sometimes you're left scraping for footage when you're not filming from the very beginning of the song to the very end of the song. Another little tip for shooting performance scenes just in general is carrying a wireless speaker on set with you. So I personally like to use the JBL Clip 3 speaker. Um, these are waterproof, they're extremely durable, they last a long time, and they are relatively loud. The reason why I like using the JBL Clip speaker is because it has a little clip on the top of the speaker, so you can actually hang this off of the side of your gimbal, you can clip it to the side of your pants or on a belt buckle. So a big thing when you are filming your music videos is you want to have the speaker or the sound coming off of the speaker near your camera just so the audio sync is a lot easier when you are in the editing suite and you want to sync the master version of the audio with the real-time footage that you're shooting off your camera. Here is an example of having the speaker close to your camera while filming a performance scene. As you'll be able to tell, the song is crisp and clear making for audio syncing a lot easier when you go to edit the music video. Here is an example of having the song playing in the background of a performance scene playing out of a car speaker. It's difficult to pick up the audio making for audio sync within your editing software a lot more difficult to pick up and may take extra time to get the sync perfect. <laughs> So the first shot that I'm going to capture from my performance scenes on a gimbal is a very wide shot. So I'm going to back up to the point where I can see the artist from head to toe in frame. And basically all I'm going to do is just go back and forth in a very slight semicircle motion. So I basically just run the semicircle motion throughout the entire performance scene. I just keep going back and forth until the song is finished up. The next scene after that, I'm actually gonna shoot a mid-range shot. So I'm gonna go uh, maybe a few steps in to the point where I can capture the artist from their waist up. So waist to the top of their head. And what I'm gonna do for these shots is actually slightly point my camera upwards at the artist. And this is just gonna create a cool little cinematic effect. So basically what I do is I hold my gimbal to about waist level. I tilt my gimbal upwards at the artist. So I'm shooting upwards at them. And then I just shoot from the waist up. And for this, I do more of an aggressive semicircling pattern. So this one, I actually go all the way um, to the right and then I semicircle out to the left. And I literally just keep doing that pattern um, just back and forth for the entire music video performance scene. And the last shot that I'll get for my performance scenes, again, if you have time, a lot of the times I'm usually good or capped out when I have that wide shot and then the mid-range shot. But if you have the time on set and you are in a controlled environment, you may as well shoot a more close-up gimbal shot. So for this, the secret is to um, actually move a lot smoother and make sure that your motions with the gimbal are just a lot smoother and slower because when you're super punched in and close up to someone, especially on a gimbal, you're gonna pick up more gimbal shake. So for this, I just grip my Ronin or my gimbal and then I just start very smoothly panning back and forth. For these shots, I will most of the time switch to 60 FPS so the option to use them as slow motion B-roll. So if the artist uses like a hand motion or something, I can pick that part out of the performance scene and use that shot as B-roll. Now, if you still wanna capture a fourth performance scene after you shot those first three or two, I like to just get creative with my performance scene shots while using a gimbal. So basically what I'm gonna do is just punch my focus in and I'm just gonna start shooting everywhere. I'm gonna be like up close, then I'm gonna back out, I'm gonna maybe go middle, and I'm gonna be getting all these different crazy semi semi-circling shots. Maybe I'll push out, push back in, just kind of feel the vibe of the song. Um, this just adds an extra performance scene. I like to, again, shoot these ones in 60 FPS rather than 24, again, so I have the option to use it as slow motion B-roll. But um, yeah, that's just another type of performance scene that I like to capture within my music video sets. 
Now this is something that people don't really mention when it comes to shooting performance scenes on music video sets is the grip that you have on your gimbal. So let's use a Ronin M for example, because I use the Ronin M most commonly on my music video sets. So basically what I do is I grab both handles with my hands and then I suck my elbows into my ribs and I have them nice up against my ribs. And then I make sure that my arms are either in like a 90 degree position or they're a little more tightened up here. So I tighten up my biceps and I keep the gimbal nice and close to my chest, but not up against my chest. And this just ensures that I'm gonna get a more smooth motion rather than you know kind of just holding the gimbal out here and moving it around you're just gonna get super shaky shots so actually being mindful and just having that in the back of your mind that you know just because you have a gimbal doesn't mean your shots are all gonna be smooth you're still gonna get gimbal shakes you might get motor shakes so you just want to make sure that you are really controlling that gimbal and just owning it one other thing to take note to as well is if I am doing a push in push out pattern with the gimbal when I've gone to a point of my performance scene where I'm ready to push back out, instead of backing out of the shot immediately, I slowly bend my knee in and then bend my knee back out into my rest position, which I then proceed to start backing out to continue the performance scene. This again ensures stability throughout the entire motion. And the other thing too is your footsteps when you're actually um, operating a gimbal. You want to go from heel to toe because if you're flat footing every step, Again, you're just gonna get unnecessary gimbal shake within your music video performance scenes. So I like to step from heel toe, heel toe. Um, again, this just ensures more stability. And I feel like this is just something that isn't touched on. And it really does make a big difference within your um, stability and the motions that you're capturing with a gimbal. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the next video I'm going to touch on in regards to performance scenes will be handheld performance scenes and any tips and tricks that I have for my music video scenes while shooting handheld and performance scenes. So with all that being said, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. This time, oh, her, I, I, so.